Hi again, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, and in this video we're going to learn how to share the policy packs that we've created, which we did in previous videos, with our other administrators. So let's get started. So, like I said in previous videos, we've already created our policy packs. In this case, we've, uh, we've got a WinZip policy pack that we manipulated and created, and it only took us a couple of minutes. But if we want to share that and utilize that with other administrators, let's see how we do that. So in this demonstration here, this is my policy pack creation station and also my management machine, where I'm creating policy packs from and also delivering it through the group policy editor. So if I were to uh, use another machine, let's call it this machine here, when we go to our second machine here, we're going to log on as, uh, as another user, or you can imagine this is uh, you on another machine that's never used Policy Pack before. In either case, the scenario is pretty much the same. Imagine you wanted to either manipulate uh, an existing GPO that has a Policy Pack inside it, or you want to create a new GPO with Policy Pack information. So if you go to the Group Policy Editor, the GPMC here, and you fire it up and you decide you want to check out an existing policy pack here. If we go to uh, uh, down over to our sales here, sales, e-sales, users here. So here's our WinZip settings and we know that there's policy pack information inside it because if we click on WinZip uh, settings details, the GPO uh, that we created in an earlier group poll in an earlier video, we can see here that we've got the, uh, these various items checked and manipulated. We've set the password length to 10. We've uh, checked at least one symbol character and at least one numeric character. Now we know that there's items in there. So if we click edit inside that group policy object, well, first things first is we don't even have the, the policy pack node. So we need to get the policy pack node on this new machine. How do we do that? Very simply, we have our own add on to the GPMC our own snap in you're just going to double click on the policy pack admin console link here this only takes a second to install here so we'll click that uh, we're going to install it here and when it's done we'll click close and then the very next time we go and click inside any group policy object we'll now have the policy pack node well, excellent. So we can see the policy pack node, and we can see here, uh-oh, WinZip's DLL isn't found. Now, remember, in previous videos, when we created a policy pack, we needed to compile into a WinZip uh, DLL in order to see the WinZip settings here. So where, where is this DLL? Well, it doesn't exist on this machine. It actually only exists on our policy pack creation station, this other machine. And specifically, it lives in C colon backslash program files in the policy pack directory here under extensions. So when you compile policy packs, they get compiled here to uh, your local policy pack extensions directory on your policy pack creation station. Now, how is that other administrator going to get to this file? Well, that is why we introduced this concept called the policy pack central store. So the policy pack central store is a simple location that lives on a domain controller such that when you copy up the DLLs that you create into the central store, other administrators over here don't get a DLL not found message. Instead, they get a, well, no error message at all. They just get the ability to utilize it from the central store. Now, again, this administrator doesn't have a problem. When they go to click edit in the group policy editor, they don't see any problem at all because that DLL is in fact local to this computer. So again, the challenge is how do we take this local DLL that only lives on this machine and get it into that central store so that other administrators on this computer, for instance, can get to that DLL. So to answer that question, we need to go over to our domain controller. And on our domain controller, we have a folder called sysvol. Now, for most administrators on their domain controllers, the sysvol folder lives in C colon backslash windows, sysvol, another directory called sysvol, the domain name, and then the policies folder. Now, all we need you to do to utilize the central store for policy pack is to create a new folder and call it policy pack. And it lives inside the policies folder, and this is where all the GPOs live. And all you need to do next is to get that DLL into this policy pack folder. Now, there are any numbers of ways to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to map a network drive from uh, my policy pack creation station over to the central store, and then I'm going to drag and drop the file right into the, uh, right into the folder. So let's go ahead and check out how I do that. Now, again, like I said, there's any number of ways to do that. So I'm going to uh, 
net use star DC and a C drive. I'm going to put it in the temp directory here. So I'm going to now uh, copy this folder. Z. So I've now I'm copying uh, the or I can move or copy the DLL from my local machine into the domain controller's temp drive. So I'll go ahead and move it there so it no longer lives on my local machine and now only lives in the temp directory on the domain controller. And now I need to just go from the domain controller's temp directory and once again move it from the temporary folder here into the policy pack central store. And that's it. We're done. So just to review what we've done so far. All we did was we took the DLL that only lived on one place, which was our Policy Pack creation station, and we got it into the Policy Pack Central Store. And the Policy Pack Central Store lives in the Policies folder in a new folder that you're going to create called Policy Pack and drop your DLL right in there. Now, the very next time you do that, your existing system, the next time you click Edit on here, when you click Edit, remember it doesn't exist locally anymore, it's now in the Central Store. Boom, we immediately recognize that we have the ability to see it in the central store. And all of your new machines, where it used to say DLL not found, well, that problem goes away again as well. When we click edit here on our new machine, we no longer have that problem. We can see the information right there. We see the WinZip configuration possibilities because the DLL is now in the central store. So if, if we wanted to utilize other, uh, if we wanted to utilize or create other group policy objects here, for instance, if I wanted to create a new one called West Test and click Edit here. Again, the very next time we go to the Policy Pack Applications node, New Application, it's right there and it comes right out of the central storage. So we don't have to worry about getting our compiled Policy Pack DLLs around to everybody's uh, uh, administrative machines. We just simply put it in the central store and all the administrators can utilize the Policy Pack. Uh, DLLs in the central store. So that's it. Super easy. All you need to do once again is to get the policy pack node on your administration station and then also get the policy packs into the central store. And again, that central store location is simply the sysvol in the policies folder. Create a new directory called policy pack, move your DLLs up there, and it's easy as pie. Well, that's it for this video. So uh, thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next one.